Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. Feel free to hit that subscribe button, follow me on TikTok and Instagram for more content at Bailey M. Stewart. Today's video is a review of Buff Bunny new collection, Did Lift, which is a collab with Mikey. I'm so excited for her. Mikey does a lot of like, like her YouTube channel is always doing like the cool like makeup. I feel like this is just so fitting. And huge congrats to Mikey for this absolute slay of a collab. So excited for her. But we're gonna review everything dropping and this is dropping October 12th at 1 p.m. CST. Code Bailey will save you 10% off. If you find this video helpful, it would mean a lot if you use it. If you use my code, make sure to screenshot to enter my monthly giveaway where I give away gift cards, care packages, all of the goodies to say thank you for all of the support. So make sure to enter if you use my code. We've got some new fabrics and we have some colors that I know y'all loved that are back. So we have White Bone, Lipstick Red, Matcha Latte, Siren, Hush Berry, Purple Shadow, Venom, and Cold Brew Onyx Black in Estes, Estes print. We have a new fabric, Posh Knit Fabric, which is 75% nylon and 30% spandex. So literally, if Butter and Nubri had a baby, that's what Poshnet is. It's a little bit more compressive than butter, a little bit more durable than butter. And in certain pieces, I find it a little bit more compressive than Nubri, which I'm here for. I feel like Nubri, in my opinion, just is not compressive enough. I love my butter though. I hope they keep coming out with butter. I know some people are like iffy, but I am a butter hoe. Give me all the butter. Um, but I do really like Poshnet as well. I just, I hope it's not a replacement for butter because but I just, I love me some butter. Double brushed velvet to the touch. So again, a very soft brush fabric. Four way stretch, medium compression, special sweat wicking yarn and antibacterial yarn. And then we have Nubri, which is 74% nylon, 26% spandex, light to medium compression, double brush, ultra soft, second skin feel, and then a high stretch retention. So again, it's very, very similar to Nubri, I would say maybe a little bit softer, and I would say honestly, it might be more compressive depending on the piece than Nubri. Definitely more compressive than butter, um, but also thicker than butter. Butter is 81% nylon and 19% spandex, four way stretch, light compression, brushed, and ultra soft, whereas again, Nubri and Poshnet are double brushed. I'm gonna do color comparisons of the greens. Here is the matcha latte to tea leaf. So tea leaf is a little bit lighter, honeydew, green lights, pistachio I think, no, limon pepino, so that one's a little bit darker, this is XL green, key lime pie, something mint, <laughs> avo green, and then, oh my god, oh lucky charm, matcha latte to pistachio, and here is Siren to Lucky Charm, Avo Green, Honeydew, Something Mint, <laughs> Key Lime Pie, XL Green, Limon Pepino, Joe, having a brain fart, Tea Leaf, and Green Lights, Siren to Pistachio. All right, now we're gonna do color comparisons of the two purples. So we'll start with Purple Shadow, which is the darker purple, to Lotus, a very pretty color combo. Acai Purple or something like that, it's the BBL one. And Vanity, so these are definitely the most similar. This one, Purple Shadow, is just a little bit lighter. Pop Rocks, Eggplant, Party Purple, Lust. Here's Purple Shadow to Venom. Now we'll do Hush Berry, which again is a lighter purple. Acai purple. And then Party Purple. Vanity. Lotus. Pop Rocks. Eggplant. Venom. I also just wanted to do a color comparison real quick of this, of the Moto to Lust. I feel like... It's kind of got some lust in it. Of the mood ring holographic to the red cherry. 
but we will start with the leggings so we have first up the ribbed crossed waist legging in cold brew venom and then onyx black um material girl rib which is their nylon spandex blend 26 full length legging medium compression cross waist design gives slimming snatch look cellulite friendly ribbed fabric so i got these in venom i haven't gotten a material girl legging in a long long time i just wasn't super crazy about the material but i love me across waist leggings I was like let me try plus it's in venom so i had to snag and the material girl fabric composition is 72 percent nylon and 28 percent spandex so it is a very slick stretchy ribbed fabric it's not like a cottony ribbed it's slick and stretchy so i definitely think for the gym it will hold up really well i really wouldn't worry especially in the darker colors about sweat showing also because of the rib design and it feels a little bit thicker again I, like they said i wouldn't stress cellulite showing in this it's a little bit shorter glute seam than some of their other bottoms dropping so i do like that i still think it could be lower at least for the short glute girlies because it still goes past my glutes and just isn't as flattering as if it would have been a little bit lower again because i have short glutes short crack <laughs> i just cannot stand when the v seam and even the glute seam comes way past my glutes because it really doesn't do anything for the cheek when it does but i got an extra small i would definitely say if in between to size up because I can see like I don't norm I'm not normally camel toe prone but in these I did feel a little bit of snugness here and I was like oof so CT might potentially happen and again it is a more compressive fit so I would say if in between or you are camel toe prone maybe to size up in these but I freaking love the cross waist um design something about cross waist just always snatches the waist so i do feel like this is very very flattering on the waist so i do feel snatched also squat proofness would not stress it at all even if you have a tattoo i would not stress it at all. i don't have any other colors to compare but like based off how venom is i really wouldn't stress it probably you could honestly probably wear black brief undies or print and you'd be fine in these full length so they come all the way down i'm 5'4 they go past my ankle so if you're tall i really wouldn't stress it's got a slight point in the front to again help shape as well so i feel like because it is such a slick fabric that they slide down a little bit more um, and then honestly, I have to keep pulling them back in the cheeks because the fabric is so slick, it just like slides out constantly. So I feel like that probably won't bother most people, but because I want everything up in my crack, <laughs> I do kind of get annoyed at that because I have to keep pulling them back in because the fabric just like slides and the waistband kind of slides down as well because again, it's just that fabric. But I know a lot of people love Material Girl, so I'm so excited for you guys to get some more. And in Venom, which you guys have literally been begging to come back, here are the Material Girl leggings with the cross waist and Venom. I feel like this is the first time in a long time that I've gotten anything Material Girl. I'm just not super crazy about the fabric, personally. I know it's a fave. I just feel like it slides too much. It's a very, like slick ribbed stretchy fabric it is quite compressive so i would say if in between or you're prone to ct to size up in these because i'm not prone to ct but i'm even having issues right here because it's just quite snug when i move i just find like the waistband in certain parts like slide and i have to keep readjusting and i just am not super crazy about that but i do love the compression on these you guys know I love a tight fit, so I love how like snatched I feel. And I just love cross waist leggings. I feel like they really bring in the waist. So I do think this is going to definitely snatch you. It is going to be flattering from the front. For short glute girls, I, it's definitely gonna be lower on the glute scale. Like I don't feel like it's that flattering because again, the seam kind of comes a little bit higher. And doesn't go in the it doesn't really stay in the cheeks because again it slides out with moving I definitely feel comfortable doing legs upper body even a high intense workout in this and with this color like you're not going to notice sweat length um once i pull them in the cheeks they become like seven eight i'm five four for reference so they're definitely high rise so it covers my belly button
And then we have the Moto Pocket Legging in Red Hot Patent and then Black Cherry Patent and then Black Patent. And I got the Black Cherry Patent. I was going back and forth about Red Hot and Black Cherry for a hot minute. I, I wanted the red one, so like the bright red, because I just knew my butt would probably like pop so well. But something about the Black Cherry just like really drew me in. It's such a pretty print and i'm not normally a moto legging girl but i actually really do like these there are some things though that i wish were different that would make these better in my in my personal opinion in my personal opinion recycled poly spandex blend the composition is 73 percent polyester and 26 percent spandex so kind of similar to elysium it's got that good compression and that same kind of feel 26 full length in seam medium to high compression so i would say it is good for performance workouts like, i do wish the waistband was a little bit more compressive though that's like the least compressive part of the legging which kind of bums me out um shine finish high waisted no front seams pin tuck pocket detail elastic and top back waistband you guys know i don't like that um, it doesn't bother me that much in these though because it's only in the back had it been all the way around the top of the waistband Then I probably would not have been happy, but it's only back right here uh, but I just don't like when leggings have that top seam But again because it's only in the back it doesn't bother me too much The main thing I'm not liking is how high the back seam is like this part comes very, very high. And I don't know if any of you guys watched my Lululemon review of their no front seam breeze through leggings and how the seam was so high, I got that little like tail. Like the, the glute seam was literally like bunching and pointing out. I unfortunately am getting that in these as well. So I feel like had the glute seam been shorter, it would have stopped that issue. These, the seam comes way past my glutes. Like my glutes are not that long and it bums me out because it makes all the leggings freaking fit me wrong. <laughs> so yeah, I really wish it was a shorter glute seam and V back seam. Like it's just so long so that it just bunches up at the top because I don't have a long enough cracker butt cheek. <laughs> so luckily though, the print is so shiny. It does kind of help still make them flattering because like, like the mood ring one, the way the light hits it, it just like enhances. I do think that helps a little bit, but I just really wish that glute seam was shorter. This pockets. I love, love, love that it has pockets. It's got um, the moto details, kind of like biker pants that thing right here and then it also has it along the legs as well but i i just know the girlies have been asking for pockets so y'all are going to be so dang happy that these have pockets on both sides pretty tight pocket though so i don't know how much i'll be able to fit in there and again full length i wouldn't worry about these these come all the way down just freaking love holographic and i hope we get more stuff like this i think it makes the quads pop like I do like how compressive it fits. Another thing that I wish was a little bit different is like the leg area and glute area is tight. I feel sucked in. However, I wish the waistband a bit tighter to snatch more because the leg area is tighter than the waistband. I feel like that's kind of pulling the waistband down a bit. And I just don't like that all of here is tight and then the waistband just kind of sits there not really snatching. So I would have loved to see the waistband have equally as much compression as the leg area. But overall, I, I friggin' love this print. I think it's so pretty. It's kind of like a, a cockroach. <laughs> a shiny cockroach. Um, I hope they come back out with more holographic. You guys know I love holographic. Frankie Green to come back because I missed out on that one and I, I want it so bad. And an Elysium. Please bring back Elysium fabric. I would not stress sheerness in this color at all. Yeah, black on the inside, so I really don't, you're not gonna see anything. Probably even wear printed undies if you wanted. The Moto Holographic Red Cherry Leggings. So it is quite snug, so I would say if in between, maybe to size up in these. I wish though that the waistband had as much compression as the leg area does because leg area, glute area is tight. 
However, the waistband is pretty much just sitting there on me, which because it's so tight right here and the waistband has like no, very little compression, that it, it, this is kind of like pulling down the waistband anytime I move. Like it's being pulled down because it's not tight enough to stay put. So I wish they would have done more compression in the tummy area. So that's a bit of a bummer. But I love, 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 you guys know I love holographic and I just feel like this holographic is so pretty. The mood ring had more like blues, purples, and this is like more red. Like, oh, oh, it is so pretty and fun. And it's a little bit less in your face than some of the other colors. Like I really wanted the bright red and I was gonna go for it, but then like something was just calling me to this color and I'm very glad I snagged it. The Moto one is kind of like the biker, thing where it's got these like, describe that, scales. <laughs> Pockets, more of the moto detail along the leg, but like look at that freaking shine. It's not as flattering just cause like again, I feel like I'm getting kind of like what I got in the Lululemon um, breeze through, that like whale tail. <laughs> because the back V seam is so high on my glutes. I just must have abnormally short glutes. I don't know what it is. It's very frustrating because it makes anything with a high glute seem just so unflattering. But luckily the shimmer's kind of helping. I'm getting all this extra fabric because it, one, it's hard to get it to go in the glutes because of this fabric. But when I do that, it's just like, it's way too high for my glutes. So then I'm getting this bunching right at the top of my glutes which is not cute. So I really wish again, they would have shortened the glute seam. That would have made them a lot more flattering and would have stopped this whale tail from happening. The seam literally comes to right here. My glutes are not that high. I feel like no bottoms this drop have been like really worked for my glutes because of the long seams. But at least the shiny holographic is helping make my butt a little bit better because it, you know, just makes it look like a little bubble. It enhances it because you got the like shine in all the right places. Um, high rise, inseam, they come probably like seven eight, so a little bit past my ankle, especially if I want them pulled up in the cheeks. But I still feel like they do make the butt look really good. Again, something about holographic just does the booty justice. And I say we need more holographic. We need Frankie Green back. That I am still so sad that I missed out on that that holographic. I would still comfortably do legs. Like I feel like this would be pretty good for a high performance workout. If you even wanted to wear this set with like combat boots, I don't know, like maybe to, I don't know where you wear it, like a Halloween thingy. Boom, you got your outfit. You can be like a biker chick. I have posh knit scrunch legging, matcha latte purple shadow onyx black and estes print i think i'm butchering that name 26 full length legging medium compression luxurious soft suede like feel elasticized back rise that separates and enhances the booty sits at the smallest point of your waist i got this in matcha latte extra small i really like this fabric I hope this does not replace aggressive scrunch legging and butter though. These are not equally as flattering as aggressive scrunch. Um, they have a much higher glute seam. Also the scrunch, in my opinion, is not what I would consider a scrunch. Yeah, these to me are not a scrunch. They just have an elastic band, but like, that's not scrunch. Scrunch is like when it scrunches up. That just stretches. It helps it go in the cheeks, but to me, I do not consider this a scrunch. And it definitely doesn't act as a scrunch with how long this glute area is. Like, I have a hard time keeping the scrunch in the cheeks, to be honest, because I think it's also just this fabric, but also how high it is. It just naturally wants to kind of pull out of my cheeks. So for me, this ain't a scrunch. I don't consider this a scrunch. This is not as flattering as normal scrunch leggings like an Alphalete Amplify or even the aggressive scrunch. Aggressive scrunch glute seam is much lower, so I personally find those more flattering on me because I have short glutes. This is definitely more long glute friendly. Um, I think I would have liked these a lot more had it been shorter because I do like the ones from Catherine's, the crossways hidden scrunch ones because it was a shorter glute seam. And so it did go in the cheeks a lot better and was more flattering. 
but because this is so high this seam goes way past my glutes these just don't even compare glute scale wise to the aggressive scrunch or even the Catherine cross waist leggings I hope they come out with another posh knit legging that has the aggressive scrunch um, and is a shorter glute seam shorter seam right here and then this needs to be shorter as well it comes like inches above my glute so it just honestly flattens it out because i don't have volume up there that's not where my glutes are so a bit of a bummer however i love the compression on these much more compressive than the butter leggings so i do feel more snatched and you guys know i love that and also the fabric is very sway like it honestly kind of reminds me like Alphalete's tenacity. Um, I feel like it's definitely gonna be more durable than butter, not gonna be pill prone as much. However, again, I do think it would still pill if, you know, worn on the turf at the gym or washed and dried incorrectly. Like, I still have Nubri that pills and I still have Alphalete tenacity that pills. So I do think it can still happen, but I feel like it's less likely to compared to butter. High rise, so it comes past my belly button double line i do feel like the waistband does snatch i love it i love the length on these i just wish it was short glute friendly and was an actual scrunch <laughs> i just feel like to me you're not a scrunch i'm sorry i was casually just shopping in a store saw this on the rack i would not be like oh my god a scrunch legging no <laughs> It doesn't, no, that's not what I consider a scrunch. Um, a stretchy glute seam maybe, because it's got the elastic, but that's not, there's no scrunch happening. Sorry. I, I don't feel like these are even close to aggressive scrunch on the glute scale, personally. If you're a long glute girl though, I, I, you'll probably like these. I just think for short glute girls, it's not gonna give juicy booty as much as aggressive scrunch um, but i don't get any camel toe in this but again i'm not usually camel toe prone but i just yeah i personally don't have that issue um i would say you can stick to your nubri sizing in these again it is more compressive but i'm happy with an extra small i wouldn't want to size up personally but again keep in mind i do like a snug fit so i love how it is thicker than butter so sheerness is not going to be as much of an issue in these as it is in butter leggings so if you have a tattoo i honestly wouldn't stress it in this color for the posh knit scrunch leggings scrunch extra small matcha latte again i pulled the scrunch in my cheeks but i would say these are pretty full length because they're so stretchy i can bring them all the way down so i wouldn't worry about this if you're taller i feel like the length is good they are high rise so come past my belly button it's got again more compression than butter honestly i feel like these leggings kind of feel more compressive than my legacy which is nubri like this fabric will be a little bit more durable than butter but still could potentially pill so i wouldn't like rub up on some turf at the gym or i still think i prefer butter being completely honest i know it's a little bit more delicate but i just i don't know i feel like the butter leggings i have are a lot more flattering than the these posh knit ones maybe it's because i need to try a posh knit with an actual scrunch you know shorter glute seam you can see the seam hits past my glutes like this is the v seam my glutes stop right here this is where i like my glute seam to hit and when it comes way past, it just makes my butt look flat because right here has no volume. Um, whereas like when it hits right there, it just kind of like, I feel like makes it look a lot better. And my crack is just not long enough. So the seam just comes way past. So this is definitely more a long glute friendly legging. I would love to see them come out with the posh knit leggings, but with a shorter glute seam and the aggressive scrunch. I will say it feels hot. It feels a lot hotter than butter, so they will show sweat, especially crotch area sweat. Sometimes I get belly button sweat, but I feel snatched. I feel more snatched in the waist than butter, and even in the leg area, so I do love that. Overall, like I do, why these are still, I would say, leg day friendly, upper body day friendly. We'll do the sticker test. I do like how these are more squat proof than butter fabric because it is thicker. As you can see, these are squat proof i would not stress if you have a tattoo would not stress 
so we love that but contour pocket legging so for the girlies that want pockets you got two options we love that it comes in siren hushberry lipstick red and then onyx black now i only had x amount of select so i wanted to pick new stuff so i wasn't able to snag this but that lipstick red i'm like mm, i kind of need full length legging 26 inseam light to medium compression stitch lines create an hourglass snatched effect along like the waistband so kind of like lululemon and all the right places pant like those seams has pockets on both sides it's also high rise so no fit changes have happened so if last so stick to whatever size you've gotten in the contour pocket leggings before and then we have legacy leggings and purple shadow newbury fabric 26 full length light medium compression ultra high rise butterfly three seam back waistband no front seam not a legacy legging gal, so I did not snag those, but I know a lot of people are. So I'm glad they're bringing them back in purple shadow for y'all. Personally, don't like ultra high rise because I have a short torso. It just ends up looking like maternity leggings on me, and it's just not flattering. The glute seam also comes way too high, and I just know it does absolutely nothing for my booty. The design team clarified because I feel like we've been at like trying to figure out for the longest time if they've made tweaks to Newbury fabric or like legacy leggings in general because they've been fitting, um, they've been feeling thinner and like less compressive and apparently like they did change it and they're working to like make it fit better but this is going to be again the softer, thinner, less compressive fit. So keep that in mind, but they are working to bring that bring it back to like old legacy fabric. We have posh knit scrunch short seven inch purple shadow and onyx black. The posh knit fabric inseam is seven inch but fits like a six medium compression high rise elasticized back rise that comfortably separates glutes no front seam. It's like nervous that these were going to replace the aggressive scrunch and I pray they don't because these are not as flattering um, and again I like butter so I hope they keep butter around it's still got the high glute seam I don't consider these a scrunch in my opinion like someone who was just shopping off the rack I genuinely don't think would consider this a scrunch like it does have again the elastic on the inside but like I don't know like I just I feel like it's not giving scrunch I do like the length though. I like that it is more compressive than like the aggressive scrunch shorts and this part down here I feel like it rolls a little bit less because again butter rolls because it is quite low compression And I feel like this part isn't as snug. So I do like that. This does stay put better um, I just again, I wish the glute seam was shorter because it it does it comes way past so I don't find it as flattering these are very comfortable though and again I feel like these are gonna hold up better than the butter fabric. I just, I hope they bring out also a separate, a second option for people who do want an, a true scrunch and our short glute girls because the short glute girls have been left out this drop. That's for sure. Double lined waistband, definitely snatches, is high rise so it comes a little bit past my belly button. I don't get camel toe in this personally. I do get a V though. I get that and everything, the Barbie crotch. I, I think this fabric is a sleigh. Again, it's very similar to Alpha Late Tenacity. Um, there are just some tweaks that I would like to see. Or or maybe not tweaks, because I'm, I'm sure people will like this option, but I, will, I hope they bring out a different style for the short glute girls and the girlies that want a true scrunch. I'd rather buy the aggressive scrunch than these. It's definitely more compressive than butter, so these are more compressive than the aggressive scrunch shorts. But I would say you can stay to your normal size, like same size that you get in aggressive scrunch shorts in these. These are just a little bit more compressive fabric. Still very soft, just not as thin as butter. I still really like butter, um, but I do like how compressive this one is. However, I do not feel like these should be called scrunch shorts because there is no scrunch. There's an elastic band. I, I don't even really feel like this is hidden scrunch. I don't know. To me, a scrunch does a lot more for your butt than these do. So I feel like the name is a bit misleading. You basically just have an elastic band in the back seam, which does help it, it go in the cheeks a little bit more, but I still personally don't find these to be as flattering as other scrunch leggings. Nowhere near as flattering in my opinion as the aggressive scrunch. And it could also be because I have short glutes. And as you guys saw, and you see in measurements, this is not short glute friendly. They have made the glute seam come much higher 
than aggressive scrunch so for that i'm not crazy about these and i hope i pray that these are not replacing aggressive scrunch shorts because these do not i don't find these flattering personally like i want my aggressive scrunch but again that is because these seam goes way past my glutes the v seam way past my glutes like my glutes are not this long mine stop like right here so it just comes way past basically pancaking my glutes and you can't even get the the aggressive scrunch also goes in the cheeks a little bit more because it is an actual scrunch this is just an elastic stretchy seam I personally don't consider these scrunch in my opinion. I am very happy with the length though. You guys know I love seven inch. I think the length is perfect. Um, so I feel like that helps them be a little bit more flattering as well because I can get a little bit of that underline, but I still prefer my aggressive scrunch much better. I This fabric though, I will think will hold up better than butter. Um, I say it's probably equal paleness to Nubri, so a little bit less delicate than butter, but I still think if worn incorrectly or washed incorrectly, it could pill. So I would still be very careful with this. It's still a delicate fabric, but it is, again, basically like Nubri and butter had a baby. That is what this fabric is. More compressive than butter. I feel like, honestly, a little bit more compressive than some of my Nubri leggings. Uh, so I really like that. It's still lower tummy control, but it is snatching me more than some of the butter. Um, even more so than I would say like the Legacy 6 inch shorts. These still slightly roll, but not that bad. Yeah, I would definitely say stick to your normal size in these. Like I don't feel like these are uncomfortably tight. I don't feel like they're too loose. Like I'm very happy with my extra smalls in these. Also again, I feel like you're less likely to get CT in these compared to the aggressive scrunch because you've got a little bit more crotch room but I just wish the back seam was a little bit lower because it's just not flattering. I'd much rather have my aggressive scrunch shorts over these, but I do really, really like this fabric and I'm so excited for Poshnet. These are high, mm, for me, because of my short torso, they're pretty much ultra high rise uh, because they come past my belly button. So, but on longer torso, it'll probably be more high rise, but that is where they hit me. We'll put the sticker in. I don't think I would stress sheerness in this. Again, it's very similar to Nubri. So, and I usually don't have an issue with Nubri being sheer. So, new thong, you're gonna be fine. Even if you have a tattoo, I think you'll probably be fine in these. We'll do the squat test. Yeah, I really wouldn't stress this. Move into bras. So we have a ribbed notch sports bra, cold brew onyx black and venom and material girl fabric, light medium support level, open back and adjustable straps. I did not snag this so I'm not sure how it fits, but it's coming out. <laughs> the spicy sports bra V2 in red hot patent, black cherry patent and black patent, recycled poly spandex blend, light support level, all over shine finish, plunge V neckline, adjustable straps, and removable bust pads. So I got it to match the Moto leggings in the black cherry print. At first, I wasn't sure how I felt about this, but once I tried it on, I really like it. It's a very cute clavage moment, and I'm here for it. Um, but it still has good coverage. Like, it is narrow chest friendly. Like, I don't feel like nips are coming out. It's got good side boob coverage. I would say if in between, maybe the sides up I, I mean i'm happy with an extra small but this band down here is a little bit on the more snug side and the seam only has but so much stretch so if that's gonna bother you i would say size up maybe if you have a wider rib cage size up because it might dig in a bit the straps are adjustable which i really like so that fits very comfortable in me i don't feel like this is digging in anywhere it's just that part it's definitely the tightest of the bra does have removable cups, which we love. And then the straps cross over. Overall, I'm very happy with this bra. I feel like it's flattering on me while still having good coverage. And I do think BTC could wear this. It just obviously would be like low support booby moment, but I still think you'd have good boob coverage because the cup size as itself has good coverage, good side boob, front boob. I actually really like this bra, especially with the matching leggings. It'd be like a full cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> not sure how it's gonna feel about the bra but i friggin love her she's very very comfy i would say quite true to size nothing feels too tight or too loose 
So I'm like, that is a sleigh extra small I'm very happy with. I wouldn't change my size. And I just love this detail because like you've got coverage, but you've also got a nice like kind of sexy like cleavage moment. And then the straps are adjustable, which I'm really happy about. And again, I feel like this will also, it obviously is gonna be a cleavage moment, but I feel like this would have good coverage even for BTC. You just might, again, have more cleavage than I do, but like there's good side boob coverage. There's good overall boob coverage as well. And then the back crosses over. Again, the straps are adjustable. This band right here is probably the tightest part, but again, on me, like it, it doesn't really bother me that much. It's got a little bit of stretch. Like I don't feel like I would need to change my size personally. Maybe if you really don't want this to be snug at all to size up, but I'm really happy with an extra small, but again, that is probably the tightest part of the bra. It's comfortably do upper body, lower body, like you're gonna be good in this. And then we have the Posh Knit Twist Halter in Onyx Black, Purple Shadow, Matcha Latte, Estes Print, and Black and White. Light support level, ultra soft suede like posh knit fabric, open back design, halter strap. So again, low support, very, very similar to mine from Juicy, but in the new posh knit fabric. Um, and I would say this one fits a little bit tighter because butter is lower compression. So this, I would say if in between the size up in this one, I will say that this one has the coverage I wish mine had. I think it's got very good front, under, and side boob coverage, so that's a freaking sleigh. It's got the twist front detail. However, the neck area and back here, I feel like fits a little bit tighter, more compressive than my juicy one, but I think it's because of the posh knit fabric, so I would size up also if neck straps tend to irritate you because this one I feel like does irritate me a little bit more than the juicy one, but coverage-wise, this one is, you have bigger cups, so I feel like you've got more coverage, will be more BTC friendly. Obviously still gonna be a cleavage moment, more low support, but you have, again, better coverage. But back here's a little bit tighter, the neck strap's a little bit tighter, so I would say if in between, again, size up. Here is the Estes print, which was inspired by this shining carpet, I think. I think that's what Mikey said. So, friggin' cool. They also have matching leggings if you wanna be that for Halloween. The Posh Knit Halter Twist Bra. Very similar to the one from Juicy, but again, this one is Posh Knit Fabric, and I would say it has more boob coverage. I love the coverage on this. I kind of wish mine had this much coverage. The neck area, though, is definitely a little bit more snug than the one from Juicy. Again, it could be because the Posh Knit Fabric is more compressive. That's gonna start to irritate my neck a little bit. It definitely is a little bit more snug. I would definitely say if in between to size up in this bra. Estes print. Mikey said it was inspired by the shining, like that carpet. And then again, just like this. So very, very similar to the Juicy one. I would say, again, because that was the other one was butter fabric, it wasn't as snug. It has really good boob coverage, side boob, front boob. It's narrow chest friendly. I'm very, very happy with how much coverage this has. Um, I feel like BTC could still wear it. Obviously, it's going to be a low support booby moment, but I feel like you'll still have good side boob and front boob coverage and even under boob because it is, I feel like, a little bit longer than like the juicy one and their other twist bras. So yeah, I this is definitely something I would, I would snag in more colors. I got the print just because I wanted to see what it would look like, and I definitely pair it with like black or brown bottoms. So I hope they come back out with this bra. It is a little bit tight on the back band as well, so I feel like next time I'll probably size up. Love the coverage and that it is narrow chest friendly. Like I'd feel comfortable doing upper body, lower body in this and it is not moving. But again, keep in mind I am I'm part of the ADB titty committee. <laughs> so larger chest, it might not be optimal for upper body or certain lower body movements. Have the Empire Sports Bra in Siren Hushberry Lipstick Red Onyx Black, Nubri Fabric, Light to Medium Support Level. Pleat details, open back, adjustable straps, and removable cups. I got this in Hushberry. And I just think, I love a monochromatic look, so I love that you could do Hushberry and Purple Shadow, and it's such a pretty color combo. I'm happy that they brought a bra out again with 
good coverage however i just don't know how i feel about the design on me like i don't know if it's like flattering personally uh but i do kind of like because i like a more cleavage moment i do pull this down a little bit to show a little bit more cleavage but i just i don't know how i feel about like the design itself um i think Haley called it a uh, mummy because it looked like you know wrapped around which i kind of agree with but again i do like that it is you have the option to feel more covered if you don't want too much cleavage showing so i'm glad they offered that and again you can kind of like manipulate it and pull it down a little bit if you want more cleavage showing i love that it has removable cups and then the straps are adjustable which really helped prevent gaping i would say it's pretty true to size i don't feel like i need to size down definitely lower support because all it has is a thin seam down here it has some stretch but again, I stuck to extra small. I feel fine in extra small. I would say if in between size up, not down. But for the most part, I'm happy staying true to size. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Here is the Empire Bra and Hush Berry. And I really like the monochromatic looks you can do with these colors. Like Purple Shadow, Hush Berry, Siren, and Matcha Latte. I'm wearing an extra small. I love that these straps are adjustable because had they not been, I probably wouldn't have liked this bra because I was getting gaping, but once I tightened it, it fits perfect. Removable cups, nothing is digging in. I would say it's pretty true to size if in between, maybe size up rather than down, but I'm very happy with how an extra small fits. I, I like that it has like more coverage options. I know a lot of people wanted that, um, but personally, I just don't know how I feel. Like maybe it's just for me personally again because I do personally like a booby moment. But again, I'm glad that they have something with a little bit more coverage. But I'd probably lower it a little bit to give me more cleavage. That's just my personal preference. But again, if you don't want that, you can kind of pull the fabric up. And I just, I don't know. It's kind of giving, like Haley said, mummy vibes. <laughs> Like you're just kind of like wrapped around. Not like my absolute favorite, but I do like that it is giving coverage. Again, it's Nubri fabric. But yeah, removable cups. It's yeah, just a thin band down here. It is longer line, so it comes a little bit past my boobs. And then the straps cross over. It is very, very comfortable. Like again, this is something I could see myself wearing like all day long. I could do upper body, lower body, like nothing is falling out no gaping so it is very very comfortable just design wise i don't know if it's like something like i could see myself wearing often like i just i don't know i'm just i'm not sure how i feel about it but i do love hush berry and again you've got good side boob coverage but it's not digging in it's not too tight right here the revolution sports brought in purple shadow nubri fabric medium support square neckline strappy back design and then removable cups i didn't get that but i do like the Rev the revolution sports bra i think it's very flattering on the neckline um and it's also longer line good for btc okay the rest of my pdf isn't loading Dang, flab it. I got pictures. <laughs> I hate that the PDFs don't load anymore. Also have Bloom. You guys have been begging for colorful Bloom to come back. So we have Bloom in Lipstick Red, Hush Berry, and Purple Shadow. I didn't at first like Bloom, and it's still definitely probably not one of my top picks, but I think sizing down made me like the fit a lot better because in my normal size, I just got a lot of gaping. It was too wide for me. Um, so sizing down did help, but I didn't snag any of the new colors because again, I wanted to try new things and we had a select amount of pieces. It's a light to medium support. It's a longer line. It is BTC friendly, strappy razorback, sweetheart neckline, and removable cups. And then the candy wrap sports bra in hush berry, Newbury fabric, medium support level, strappy cross back design, fee neckline, adjustable elastic straps, removable bust pads. I would say if in between you can size up in the candy wrap bra. And then the Butter Square Neck Crop in Cold Brew Siren Bone Onyx Black. Butter Fabric, Light Support Level, Medium Length is 16 and a half. Grade half up and down by size. Okay, so the size change, length changes by size. Squircle Neckline, No Bust Pads, Self-Lined Cropped Fit. I got it in Siren, Extra Small. Now this butter feels much different than the butter top I'm wearing right here. 
Like this doesn't feel as soft. It feels quite stiff compared to this one. So I'm not loving how it feels in this. Maybe it's the color again, different colors, the dye process and everything has chicken change how it feels, but I'm not loving how it feels in this top. I hope they haven't changed butter because I don't like the way this feels. I also get gaping in this. So maybe I should have done an extra, extra small, but it's just way too wide for me um, right here. Like it should have been brought in half an inch because when I bend over or like even just like go like this, I get gaping and I don't like that. It drives me crazy. Also in tops like this, I really wish this had removable cups or a shelf liner, something like that. I would probably wear it more because um, that is something personally when shopping that will deter me from buying something being completely honest I mean, I guess I could wear a bra Underneath, but that's not usually how I wear these tops I usually just like when they have the built-in itself or just like removable cups like it pop in there It's got good back coverage. I like the length. It's definitely longer than this one So it comes like at my belly button whereas this one is obviously a lot more cropped So I do like the length on this one more, but I like the way the butter fabric feels on this top a lot better I don't know what's going on with this one and then I just don't like the cut of it on me I like the cap sleeves a lot better. I find it more flattering on my body I don't like the way this cut is personally, so I probably wouldn't spend my own money on this top. But again, that just comes down to personal preference. Whatever top size you get in the normal butter tops to get in this as well. So Siren and Matcha Latte, another super cute monochromatic look. I feel like this should have come in about like half an inch because yeah, I don't like the gaping that's happening. Um, it is a little tighter on the armpit, but I don't mind. Like it's not uncomfortable. I just wish there a little bit more to stop the gaping and I wish there was a built-in shelf liner or at least removable cups <laughs> And I just don't feel like this cut is like very flattering on me personally I'm just not normally a tank gal, but it's got good back coverage And then we have bodysuits we have the poshnet wrap bodysuit in onyx black and purple shadow and then black and white Six inch inseam vents for you to add your own bus pads, wrap front detail and cut out at waist. I got extra small, definitely more compressive than the one from the fall capsule because that was butter fabric. And again, Poshnet is more compressive. So I do really like that. However, again, the cup, I don't know why they're doing the cup pad thing in this as well because Poshnet is thicker. So I don't think you'll see the cup pad lining. And I figure for the price, because this will probably be like 50 something dollars, and you have the inserts, just go ahead and give me the cup pads. And if someone doesn't like them, they can take them out. If I'm paying XYZ for something, I want the cup pads to come with it. Yeah, I am team bring back cup pads. A long glute seam. Not gonna be the most flattering on the glutes, but I feel like for bodysuits, they usually aren't. It's got the hidden elastic seam. I don't consider this a scrunch though. I will say the length, I, while I still wish it was a seven inch, I think it would be better a seven inch. Um, it is still better than the butter because it is that poshnet, more compressive fabric. It doesn't ride up as much. So I do feel like it feels a little bit longer. It's still a little too short for me to feel like comfortable wearing this to run errands. Again, I wish it was seven inches. But I do feel like it is better than the fall capsule because butter fabric, again, just rolls really bad and feels shorter. Um, this still does feel shorter once you pull it in the cheeks and walk because it still rolls, don't get me wrong, but it does feel a little bit longer. Also, another edit I wish they would have made. I just feel like everywhere is so compressive in this, especially the arms, just as tight as the fall one, the fall bodysuit. So again, I wish the arm area wasn't as tight. I wish the boob area was tighter. I feel like the boob area right here is the least tightest, and I feel like that's where I wanna feel the most supported. And I don't feel that in this. Like, I feel like this strap right here is too long. It's not tight enough right here. So I am paranoid the whole time that my boobs are gonna just unravel or like this part's just gonna separate. So I do think I will be wearing a bra underneath this because I just don't feel secure right there. I feel like the straps are way too long on me. And when I raise my arms back here, it does kind of gape, which bugs the crap out of me in tops. So that is a bit of a bummer. 
Um, also right here, this waistband cutout detail, I feel like could also be more compressive. It doesn't do anything, it just sits there. So I don't think I'd wanna wear it on a bloated day. Those are just my tweaks and things I would like to see changed, but I still do like it. I still find it flattering. I don't know where I'm gonna wear this though because or how to style it. I love the purple shadow color and I do think it is flattering on. I just, I genuinely don't know how or where to wear this because I feel like it's too short and too midsection showed off to like wear this grocery shopping. Um, so I don't know, I need to figure out where to wear this. Cause I do, I do like it. And I do think it is flattering on. I like the color. There are just, again, small tweaks that I would like to see. I probably like it a little bit better than the butter one from the fall capsule just because it doesn't feel as short. Fully covers the back. And it's passionate fabric, so I definitely feel like it snatches a lot more than butter bodysuits. Like the one that recently dropped, fall capsule. This one definitely is more snug. Snatches a lot better than that one. The arms are still very snug. Honestly, they might be tighter. Uh, no removable cups, but it does give you the insert. So I pop some in there. Uh, but I still feel like if someone is paying X amount for something and you have the insert, you should include the cups. I wish it was seven. I, again, will continue to say that on bodysuits. As once you pull it in the cheeks, it does become shorter. I will say it doesn't feel as short as the other one in the back, like the fall capsule one, so that's good. But again, the longer glute seam, so not as flattering on shorter glutes. Still, as you can see, very short. Still think to comfortably want to run errands in this. A seven inch would be a lot more comfortable personally i think i wish this neck area was tighter because it just feels like this is being pulled apart and like my boob is going to fall out like i don't feel like this is as tight as it should be so that's going to probably deter me from wearing this often because i feel like i have to wear a bra underneath and i probably will just because i don't feel secure enough with just cups this isn't tight enough. This neck area is not tight enough. Like I wish it came in about like an inch more and then I would feel a lot more secure because all this is is a layer wrapped around. That's it. That are, there's no band underneath. There's nothing. Like everywhere else in this body so it was tight except for the boob area. So I just, I don't get that. But this also right here could use a little bit more compression. I feel like it, it's just kind of like sitting there. Then we have the Micro Poshnet Hourglass Dress. Black and Venom. Poshnet fabric. Micro length is 29 on extra small. Grade 1 inch per size. Regular length is 32 inch on extra small. And then grade inch one. Grade 1 inch per size. Square neck dress. Long sleeves. Easy pull down feature and liner. Definitely wish I would have sized down though because I... Again, I wanted the waist to be a little bit tighter. I don't feel like it's snatched as well as I would like. But everywhere else fits really nice. Again, another thing where they gave you the cup insert but didn't include the cups. Please give us the cups. I feel like this is giving Stevie Nicks. It is such a cute, like dress that you can dress up dress down so i definitely will be snagging it in black as well again i got extra small regular because i want it to be long and it has amazing coverage no booty cheeks out we love to see it it also has that inside short thing that cuts out in the back so you don't have to take off the dress when you have to use the bathroom you literally just like pull it down <laughs> and under use the bathroom easily has pockets on the liners and the liners are a good length they don't feel too short and then you've got these contour seams to kind of again bring in the waist but i still feel like the waist could have been brought in a little bit more it's got bell sleeves with a slit on each one this strap in the back to help keep the sleeves up which i really like a little keyhole detail i would definitely spend my own money on this um, next time I'd probably size down and do like extra extra small regular because I know the coverage is still going to be really good So I'll probably snag that in black because I wanted the waist to be a little bit more snatched but overall I I freaking love it. 
I again I just love the like bell sleeve look and like the Stevie Nicks vibe pair with some boots like it is very nice and again it's passionate fabric so soft velvety feel and again I'm 5'4 and went with the regular length the irregular length that's the one I asked for so I'll double check but I love this length it's perfect I do wish that the waist would have come in a little bit more I could snatch more right here I also feel like this top part could be a little bit more compressive especially if it doesn't have a built-in shelf liner but that's that's my only complaint everything else I really like and then the shorts are a little bit baggy in the back like the underlayer shorts which they have to be because they're meant they have like an opening that way when you have to go pee you just pull it down um but you guys know me I like to be snatched so I just will probably in the black one do extra extra small regular length uh, definitely not micro. I feel like this length is perfect. I've got good front coverage, good back coverage. And then you've got this bar in the back like, that comes across. A little keyhole opening. Torso it feels good. I don't feel like I need to keep pulling it up. We also have a Cruella free <laughs> faux fur coat. Super cute name. In black and fawn. Faux fur, faux leather, 100% polyester, oversized fit, zip front, wide lapels with hood, side pockets, elasticized back hem for cozy fit, chevron leather inserts, cropped relaxed fit. I just personally wasn't very crazy about the look. I knew I wasn't going to wear it, so I didn't snag. Um, I'm also curious to see the price tag on that. I feel like the coats are always really high. Curvy stretch cargo pants and black matcha latte and bone. Cotton spandex twill, inseam is 32, relaxed fit for a boyfriend look, twill draw cord at him, adjustable twill tape at waist. I regret not getting this. I was scarred from their other cargo pants that I was like, I don't even want to try those. But now saying that they're like curvy stretch, I do wish I would have tried. I have the Glam and Gym Organizer in Onyx Black and Bone. PU leather, lining is waterproof polyester, inside mesh pockets, heat resistant compartment for hot tools, three separate compartments, makeup brush compartment. So I feel like this is very fitting for Mikey because she does a lot of like, you know, the makeup stuff, the glam and gore. This is a big boy of a makeup bag. It is big, it's got a lot of compartment. It is definitely like if you're a professional makeup artist, this is the bag you want. If I ever went back to doing hair and makeup, I will 100% be using this. Like you've got your brushes right here, another zip pocket, and on the inside, another zip pocket that has more pockets, and another zip pocket. And then on this side, this is the heat resistant side for the hot tools. So dang clever, because sometimes you gotta go and you don't have time to wait for the heat to like cool down. More pockets, like it just has so many compartments will fit everything and I, I like the quilted look on the I feel like it makes it look more expensive good quality I love the tonal logoing would definitely buy this if you do hair and makeup or even just love doing your own hair and makeup and travel a lot this is this is pretty dang good SOS case which is onyx black bone room for lip gloss clasp to clip keychain i'm not gonna lie i literally was like what the heck is this when we saw the pdf mikey said it she's gonna use it for like pepper spray which makes a lot more sense than lip gloss and then we have scrunch socks back three pack scrunch socks in white dark charcoal and purple polyester cotton elastane ribbing length is six inch crew length so i asked the team they didn't reply so don't know if they heard me but I know I wasn't the only one that felt this way. What happened to the fit of these scrunch socks? They fit so much bigger and the I, I was praying that these were gonna fit like the old scrunch socks and go back to being normal size. They are not. I get so much extra fabric bunching at my heel because it is bigger. Like this is not what I feel like an extra small small should fit like. Um, even people saying who get the like medium say the medium fits too big. So I really hope they tweak the sizing and go back down or at least give us an extra, extra small option because for a size six, the extra small is too big. And I find myself searching for my old smaller scrunch socks because I, those are the ones I want to wear. Yeah, that is like a real bummer because I was so excited for the scrunch socks, but like the fit has just been so off since, what launch was it? 
because I wasn't the only one like discord even was like what's going on with the scrunch socks like it was a whole debacle and unfortunately it has not been fixed yet so they are still running big so size down if like if you normally get medium to be honest I would start doing extra small small which is a bummer because they're my favorite socks ever like literally scrunch socks are all I wear and that's what I'm saying. I literally have to dig now to find the ti the the, ti the like OG scrunch sock, the true extra smalls. But yeah, that is everything I got for this launch. Again, huge congratulations to Mikey. She killed it with this launch. I'm so excited to hear everyone's feedback on the Poshnet fabric. Excited to see Poshnet keep coming in new styles. Hopefully, shorter glute short glute friendly style soon. Hopefully this review was helpful. Um, if you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. Again, code Bailey will save you 10% off your order. It does help support me and counts as a monthly giveaway entry. So make sure to enter if you use it. Launches October 12th at 1 p.m. CST. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.